Hey guys, all things Apple here, and I have a broken pair of Kit Sound Arena headphones. I'm going to be taking them apart in this video in the se my series, All Things Opens. This is the one of my episodes where I will not be putting it back together again, like I did with that Bitex speaker up there, that black one, white with a white and silver driver in it, and it's got a black got a black cone on it as well I'm not gonna go too in depth with it because that's not what we're doing in this video I've already taken the filmy things off it might look like I haven't but I actually have and I've taken it off that one as well they've all gone into this drawer here and they've both gone in there so I'm gonna I'm gonna take the front panels off and I'm gonna cut ahead in the video until I've done that so I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so I've managed to get into it. I've taken it all out. I'll take this off as well. So I'll do this on camera, see if I can do this on camera. And one handed, so. I'm not going to be able to do it all day. So, yeah. In a minute. In a minute. Okay, guys. So, I got in here. I'm just going to take this ribbon cable out of it. Socket out of the... The connect of uh, the SATA connection of uh, the SATA connection, and there we go. This little bit of technology is almost completely out of its shell. So let's now remove this from remove this little logic board from the shell. Okay, so the little logic board is now out of the shell and the only thing that remains in this part in this part of the headphones is this bit here and the bat and the battery. So now the thing is is to try and get it out without knocking the phone off record without knocking the camera off record so or knocking it over like I just did then so now I know you shouldn't really peer be mucking around be piercing lithium batteries like this but it's easy for me to get it out like this and I can got it out just like that that's just how easy it was. And now we have ourselves a little amp, a little circuit which can easily be connected. Which can easily. I already have a. I already have a headband, so I'm just going to destroy this headband so, so I can have an amplified circuit in a bit guys I'm going to take these screws out so I will see you in just a minute okay guys so that side of the kit sound arena the kit sound arena Bluetooth wireless headphones has now been fully disassembled except for, and this bit is part of it too. This little metal thing, this little metal thing is part of it too. So, yeah. So, these bits would not be the bits to be reused because they've got a Kit Sound logo on them and they're all branded as Kit Sound. So yeah, we'll put this 
in the top drawer. This is going to stay assembled. It's going to stay as a circuit. That's also going to go in there. That's the other rear cup. The piece that goes on here. But now we're going to start getting into this one. I do expect very much of this one because it's got all of the controls in it and loads of other stuff. So yeah, I will see you in just one minute. Okay guys, I actually decided to turn this light on and close the door as well. So as I expected, there is loads of circuits in this one, even a Bluetooth module obviously. So now I shall connect for no reason whatsoever, just to see if it's still chugging. Just to see, just to see if the headphones are still chugging, or should I say headphone now. So let's plug that into the headphone and the other end into my iPod. This is the iPod that I featured in my video of whether the iPod Touch 4th generation is worth it. In 2018, you may recognise it because of its background. Because of its background. And oh, what? Do you hear that? Listen. Uh, I don't actually know because it's not loud enough. I thought I did right then, but don't hate at me for playing a Christmas song. It's my favourite one. But it's still working. It's still going. That's why I want to. That's why I want to destroy the headband and keep the circuit. That's why I kept this in one piece, so I could keep it. I'm actually, in short, what I'm actually doing in this video is I'm un, is I'm pretty much giving these headphones new life. I'm actually giving this pair of headphones new life. So yeah, I just take one of the, the top one of these logic boards out. Obviously, I'll take the speaker driver out as well. My iPod's just run out of charge. So yeah, the so I will see you in just one moment. Okay, guys. So the next thing to do is to unscrew. Oh, I just one second the board out and then take the speaker driver out and of course remove the enclosure from the metal thing just there I will see you in just a moment okay guys so that is all that was removed so that's the stuff that was taken out of the other shell that's all the screws that were in the device that were in the pair of headphones holding it all together or keeping it and um, well not really hold well yes holding it all together they were keeping it they were keeping it from falling apart and we've got both circuits all we would need to do now is get the this is take these two screws out and destroy the headband so we can get the wire out and then we've kind of got the circuit for a new life pair of headphones we've basically got all of the internals for a new pair of headphones. All that would needed to be kept or need to be kept. Or put new buttons. Oh, they're different buttons. This has different buttons in it. This pair of Kit Sound Arena headphones was made with slightly different components. This 
this this one is an uh, explainer. Oh yeah, it is explainer. Let's just let's say I'm explaining it. Yeah, it's a bit different to the other ones. It's the same drivers. The drivers are the same, and the wires are the same, and these SATA connection things are the same. But the boards are not, and this. And the other two boards are the same. Or more or less the same, but this big one isn't. And the Bluetooth module is built in. And the Bluetooth module is built into the board. It's built into the board. Which was not the case on the other pair. So, yeah. And I was inclined by, and I was, and I was inclined to think, and I was not inclined to think anything. Thank you very much. And I, I just thought it would be the same, but it's not. It's a bit, it's a bit different. So, I'll see you in just one moment when I've got the circuit complete, complete. When I got this, the completer of the mix, the cable inside the. The ribbon cable inside the headband. Now, I will see you in just one. Okay, guys, so what I've done now is I've just taken what used to be. I've just taken what was a broken pair of headphones. What was a broken pair of headphones, and turned it into this mess. But most, but quite a lot of this. Especially this shit is not going to be used in what I'm going to do with it. But it's not going to be binned. I will bring you back. I will be back in just one moment with the completed circuit. I will see you in just one moment. So now I have the circuit reassembled. And ready to play something. It's got, even got a little microphone there. See, I've got a little microphone there. So yeah, these are all of the screws and the button things. So we don't need those. But when I put them in their new enclosure, I will. I have my personal, my personal phone here. Just enter my passcode and yeah. So, let's see if it is, if the circuit works, and if it doesn't I just switch the end of the, the ribbon cable that was in the headband round. So, let's play My Heart Will Go On. Okay, yeah, so this driver is blown. This one is okay, as you can see. So the circuit does work. The circuit does work. It just needs a new driver. This is, the, you have been watching All Things Apple, and this is, we've just about run out of time in this video, and this is All Things Apple, signing off.